to to the next case um, shortly presenting it to you. So what we're talking about here is one of the biggest beverage companies uh, in the world, which includes, by the way, a big beer brand. Um, we're not allowed to use the company name, but they did allow me to share this particular case. And the case is all about business finance transformation. So to give you a bit of a feel, this is a global beverage company that operates um, in uh, 25 uh, countries um, across the world and over time built a total of 20 instances of SAP, which were all heavily customized for specific regions in the world. And as a result, <clears throat> now that they obviously, as I'm sure all of you uh, are in the process of considering how to move to Esfahana, in what way to move to Esfahana, they use this opportunity to decide that what they want to move towards is a clean ERP environment in the S SAP Esfahana uh, new stack. And that on top of that, around it, they want to have a number of platforms for which the OutSystems platforms is one of the major platforms for them to use. So for the purpose of anonymity, we called it WorkFin. And you see some of the stats there. It's one standard interaction tools for workflows across the world. It encompasses 26 countries. And at the moment, it's used by some 8,000 users, both on the finance side as well as on the, uh, the business side. Um, on the features, you see some of the typical characteristics that were built into the OutSystems solution that is connected to these 20 instances of SAP. Standardized forms and platforms in finance, very important. Integrated vendor and customer data. Um, data insights from any dimension. Real-time insights, very important. And also very obvious, particularly in a finance environment, all data documents, approvals, communication regarding a single finance request are stored in one place, creating one single version of the truth. Now, one of the major reasons for this company to invest heavily in this space is because they want to automate a lot of these functions because they're very human intensive. And that's why I started out by saying this is all about uh, uh, finance transformation and at the end of the day, a business transformation. The whole purpose being that any type of financial information that's relevant to a particular role should be available easily in a mobile um, uh, function, whether it's approvals or queries. So that's sort of more or less what their goals is. And to give you a bit of a feel of how that plays out, it's much more than just a, a workflow tool. Obviously, that's what it is. But what is very important, uh, because of the nature of the platform, it allows them to address basic uh, finance functions and inject into that large degrees of automation. So to give you an example, general leisure postings, 30% of the total GL postings requests are currently automated. That's huge in a company of this size. As I said, uh, 26 countries, 8,000 users. Um, invoice status, you know, already 10% has been automated in that space. In less than one minute, um, the requester receives a response instead of hours, in some cases, days in the past. Uh, Sunrise invoices, in other words, third parties from the outside um, that um, want to have their, their bills paid. 11% are fully automated. Validation happens in real time. A full integration with email exchange. So when you build a particular case about a certain payment and there's some dispute about the payment, there's email exchange. In the past, that should be completely separate. And so you lost track of where we are and how we settled the account and so forth. The integration with email makes sure that there's one single version of the truth that includes the interaction with the client or the supplier. And very important, obviously, in the SAP world is master data uh, confirmation, which um, in their case is particularly important because one of their shared service centers um, on the finance side is in Poland, and they want to have a total visibility of what's going on, and uh, particularly on the master data management side. So it's, a, it's an example, a second example that we wanted to share with you of a company that has a huge investment in SAP, 20 instances, they definitely want to keep SAP. So it's not a question of replacing SAP. 
but they want to use Esfahana and the move to Esfahana not just as a let's call it technical migration, but they definitely want to use it to to transform the finance function itself and to create a user-friendly, fast platform to deploy functionality easily and particularly in a mobile environment. Now, to illustrate, going back to Chris's earlier point, that this is not just applied to in a finance environment. Another example of this same company of the use of app systems is actually when COVID hit. You can imagine when you sell beers and, and, and the sodas to hotels and to restaurants, you're hit heavily in 25 countries. And so they use our system to, from the marketing department to create within three weeks an app environment in which any hotel or restaurant in the world that wants to change their business to a delivery model, as I'm sure you've had in Australia and still have, um, uh, as we had here. So the restaurant is closed, but you can still go to a website, order for, for food. They offered that to their clients and the, for free, and the only additional request was you need to incorporate into your product's portfolio or into your products um, a, a product from, from this particular beverage company. And the OutSystem platform is so easily usable that any restaurant or hotel in the world was, was able to use this and create their own website using the beverage company's backbone in the out systems environment because out systems is multi-tenant meaning to say that every hotel or restaurant can create their own website with their own product portfolio and so forth the typical example of another added value of an out system solution which is speed to market and your ability to agile respond to changes in the market and disruptions that you need to respond to so these are two different examples from different industries, from different sizes of companies, but you know, illustrating the same thing. So I could imagine that what is a relevant question to ask uh, to you, Pedro, is if I am in this audience, I have a substantial SAP estate in which we invested for a long time, which is customized to a large degree, which scares the hell out of me if I want to bring all of that to Esfahana and I'm even having problems explaining the business case how to do that. Where would you start? Over to you, Petro. 